let's go ahead and talk about the new GPUs from AMD or from Sapphire. Mining GPUs from Sapphire, meaning of course AMD technology. Let's hop right into it. This is an article from WCCF Tech on November 29th, 2021. And this was pretty late in the evening, 14.55. And it says, Sapphire Ready's G, G Pro X80 and X60 crypto mining graphics cards feature AMD Navi 22 and 23 GPUs with a headless design per pretty much the standard for crypto mining GPUs. Sapphire's crypto mining graphics cards based on the AMD RDNA 2, Navi 22, and Navi 23 GPUs have leaked out by El Chapuza Informatico. I think I said that right. We'll do. I still got to work on my Spanish. Sapphire silently offers AMD RDNA 2, Navi 22, and Navi 23 GPUs in crypto mining graphic card graphics card flavors. The two graphics cards that have been leaked include the Sapphire G Pro X80 and the G Pro X, I guess, 060 and 080. Both cards utilize the AMD RDNA 2 architecture and the X80 based on the Navi 22 GPU, while the X60 features the Navi 23 GPU core. All right, so let's talk about first the X080 with the Navi 22. In terms of specifications, the X80 features an AMD Navi 22 GPU with 2,304 cores, which is 36 CUs, a clock speed of 2,132 megahertz, and comes with 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory operating across a 160-bit bus, which is interesting interface at 16 gigabits per per second pin speeds this delivers an effective bandwidth of 320 gigabytes a second the card features a pcie gen 4 by 16 interface and is powered by a single 8 pin connector in terms of performance the card offers around 38 mega hash a second at its default 165 watt tgp while optimizing settings could reach 41 mega hash a second around 93 watts of course we will have to see what the actual optimizations are once miners get these in their hands <clears throat> but this is pretty much what what we're looking at design wise the card comes with a standard dual slot and dual fan configuration so you're getting an active cooling solution with a pretty decent heat sink underneath the card is a headless only design and only measures 242 by 120 by 41 millimeters. It is intended to be sold in bulk for a price of around 750 euros and only works on Linux as per Sapphire. That's a lot of money. <laughs> let's, let's calculate that to US dollar right now. Just, just, just for fun. That's $844, right? So we're talking about $844. You got a ROI. If we hit up what to mine, right? And we like calculate this out manually. What do we got? We got 41 mega hash at 95 Watts. I think it's going to be better than that. It, it's got to be better than that. And you were looking at $3 a day in profit. So if we went ahead and pulled out a calculator here and we did 844 divided by three after a power cost of 10 cents a kilowatt hour, we we're looking at 281 day ROI. At least I guess that's under a year, but I think that puts us over, of course, the projection for proof of stake on Ethereum. So yeah, that's not looking great. But let's go ahead and take a look at the X060, see if it's any better based on AMD Navi 23. Moving on to the Sapphire G Pro X060, we're looking at the AMD Navi 23 XL GPU with a 1,792 cores and 28 SMs. A clock speed of up to 2044 megahertz and 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory operating across a 128-bit bus interface at 14 gigabits per second speeds. 
This gives the card a total of 224 gigabytes of bandwidth. The card is powered by a single 8-pin connector. Performance-wise, this card offers 28 mega hash a second at 100 watt default and up to 30 mega hash a second with tune settings at 60 watts. At this performance level, the card is still unable to match the AMD RX 6600 non-XT that can produce up to 30 mega hash a second with tune settings at just 50 watts. This gives the X060 a performance per watt ratio of 0.49 versus a 0.61 on the RX 6600. Obviously, these things aren't looking that good, are they? At least on paper, they're not looking good at all. The card comes in a dual slot and dual fan design, but is actually smaller than the Sapphire X080, measuring at 193 by 120 by 40 millimeters. The card does work with both Windows and Linux operating systems and is also intended to be sold in bulk. The X060 has a retail price of around 550 euros. So let's go ahead and calculate that out. 550 euros for us Americans means we're looking at 620 US dollars. Then if we go ahead and hit over to what to mine and we type in that 30 at, what was it? 60 watts, is that right? Did I do that right? What is the projection? 30 mega, oh, nope, that's that one. Uh, 30 mega hash a second at 60 watts. It's probably gonna get down to 50 watts, let's be honest. But let's go ahead and calculate based off of what the article is saying. And we are looking at $2.21 a day on Ethereum after power costs. This looks like a better deal than its bigger brother, to be completely honest with you guys. So if we take a look at that, right, and we have 550, oops, $620, excuse me, $620 divided by, of course, the 221. Oop. We are looking at an ROI of 280 days, so just a little bit shorter than the bigger brother. And that's really going to be, you know, I don't know, not that impressive to me. But we do have new mining cards coming. It does look like they will be sold in bulk uh, for most of us. And, th and this is the problem that I think like... I personally have a problem with and maybe others do, maybe others do not. I always see like people getting ASICs in bulk or getting GPUs in bulk. This channel has always been focused on the small at home miner. And even though I have like a warehouse now that we're like filling out with more hardware, getting up the amount of capital to purchase things in bulk, especially like this at a price that makes them decent is pretty difficult. And you can end up if you're just barely making those little niches like bouncing up your hash rate little by little. It's a lot easier to just purchase retail GPUs used on the market for a better price. And so I really like, I have zero mining specific GPUs. I don't have any of them. Would I recommend them? I don't know. I think the prices have to be better, right? Like if we're talking about uh, resaleability, the point of that, right? And we want to say GPU mining is better than ASIC mining because you can resell the GPUs. This also uh, obviously like defeats the purpose there. I still don't, haven't gotten any CMP GPUs to test. I don't know. I'm sticking with retail right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below or of course the live chat. We'll address live chat at the end of the show per usual. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.